Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am Monique from Special Occasions by Design, and today we're going to walk through Miss Fanny's Royal Blue and Gold birthday party. In this video, I will try to walk you through my thought process, discuss in as much detail as I possibly can what I did to create this signature look, walk through some tips that can assist you with putting together something similar, and also discuss some do's and don'ts of this event. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump straight in. Here you'll see our feature table of the three. This is a dessert table. We had a little bit of a snafu with the treats when we went to pick them up. The colors weren't right. So tip number one, when you're placing order for treats, make sure you specify your exact colors and do so with a picture. Now here is an area for gifts. It was located to the right of Miss Fanny, also accented with this wonderful balloon garland. And looking at this all together, it appears that all three backdrops flowed seamlessly. And I'll talk some more detail about that. Where Miss Fanny is sitting, we added some crates, florals, and lanterns to give her a special look. We had a team of five. While I worked on the backdrops, the team worked on placing chair covers on all the tape, all the chairs, and arranging the tables in an order that it would highlight Miss Fanny. Now here you'll see that I'm using a very large backdrop. It is a tapestry backdrop, and these I find have the best print quality. They don't have any hoops, but that's not a problem. It's very easy to pin these neatly to the top of your backdrop stand. And my tip number two here is, if you're trying to create this look, you don't need a heavy duty backdrop stand. A simple one will work. Simply place the backdrop behind the first two and it'll give you that appearance of a sweet, seamless backdrop. Now here, tip number three, when you buy a backdrop and you're placing a table in front, try to buy a backdrop that is at least five feet wide five feet wide and at least or at least five feet tall as well now the backdrop stand that I'm using on this backdrop just happens to be eight feet instead of a standard six foot collapsible this is a fixed length eight foot backdrop stand and because of this I had to use tip number four and I attached a white fabric behind it, pinned the backdrop in front at least 10 inches down, then secured my balloon garland onto the white portion of the cloth. Doing this, no one will know that the backdrop was actually a little bit smaller than a size that is required for this kind of thing. Now for tip number five, whenever you're using sequins tablecloths, you always wanna place a solid color tablecloth underneath. Now here I first place white and then quickly realized that I needed to use that white tablecloth for something else. So I swapped it out for a solid gold satin tablecloth and decided that I was going to scallop the front of the tablecloth to create just a different look when compared to the other table that was placed at the front. And you'll see that's what I'm doing here. I'm going in with that plain color satin, then I'm throwing that sequin tablecloth on top. And this is the final look. Now, this table was on the opposite side and we just use that one for gifts. Here's another look at Miss Fanny's tables with the crates and lanterns. And this is the look of all three backdrops completed and the look of the full room, how we gave Miss Fanny that focal area. Now for the guest tables, what we did was we wanted all, it also to look special. To do this, we decided to go with white tablecloths with a royal blue runner 
Again, we added those gold charger plates with the cutouts of Miss Fanny created in Canva. We added blue water to the vases and fall florals. And then we added, added some hints of higher end centerpieces without a topper. And that's what you're seeing here. These three tables in front were created a little differently just for family. Here is another look at Miss Fanny's tables and the rest of the setup. Please let me know if you have any questions in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so. Thank you.